What's a timberman want with being a wiki? Just looking to earn a living. It's like any man. Starting new. On the run. Howdy who, buckaroos. How do you do? Why, thank you. Had a review format I wanted to test out, and I figured this would be a great movie to recommend for October. Wait. Well, fuck. Well, looks like I'm doing this YouTube thing correctly. And the point still stands. Anyway, as a member of the Merchants Guild, A Jew? Yeah? I really do value our time here. So let's just get into it. Here's how we're gonna do this. There are only two criteria I really use. So, first things first. Was the movie good? Yes. Video over. Thank you for coming. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. The idea of what's considered good could be extremely subjective, but hear me out. When I say good, I'm mainly referring to the mechanical elements that make up the film. Things such as shot choreography being done well, if the writing is interesting, was the sound design fun? And yeah, I'd say overall the movie was pretty good. The choice of presentation style never felt gimmicky, and the camera and lighting complemented those aspects well, for the most part. The writing is a tad erratic, and not paying attention could get you lost. But with how unsettling this movie can get, I believe that just might be intentional. Now for the sound, and my god the sound. <laughs> Bottom. It's fantastic. What? Every step, creak, and crackle are punchy, and coupled with the gruesome original score by Mark Corvin and the aspect ratio, there is this overall feeling of dread and anxiety that really entrances you into the lighthouse's world. Okay, now that we got all that pretentious shit out of the way, God damn it, I can't say shit on YouTube. Fuck! As for my second criteria, was the movie entertaining? And yeah, I do count good and entertaining as separate. A movie could be really fun but poorly made, or could be really well made but a total snooze fest. In the lighthouse's case. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, it's actually a pretty fun ride. Nothing really broke my immersion throughout the whole endeavor, and performances by Twilight Man and especially Green Goblin were absolutely superb. Wait, I thought those dudes were dead, what the fuck? So to finish this up, let me misquote a friend. I don't think I've ever watched a film that's taken farting and cooming so seriously. I'm gonna coom! Should you watch Robert Eggers' The Lighthouse? Yeah, I'd say it's worth your time and money, in theaters. Or with a really nice sound system at home, your pick. Oh, and if you enjoy it, definitely check Eggers' previous film, The v, -V <laughs> There you are. Mm -hmm. These two movies deserve way more attention than they've been given. Well, thank you all for stopping by. Feel free to comment and let me know what you thought of this format. I want to keep these short, so any tips that help me refine the sweet, sweet Jew gold that I crave so dearly would be highly appreciated. If you'd like to get to know me more, and find out what I'm about, I linked my Twitch stream in the description. We, uh, we do fun things there. I respect you for that. Ah. I don't respect you because you're a person of color. See you next time.